Hello, it's Jason Payne for JDP Realty Group, a coal banker, Dane Hop Realtors. Well, today I'm in beautiful New Braunfels, Texas at the River Chase subdivision. Very quiet subdivision on acre lots. To show you a house that just came on the market that my client might be interested in uh, purchasing. So let's go check it out. Absolutely beautiful front side of this house. It was built in 2012. And uh, the builders, Anderson Jenkins, you can tell the most recent owners have put in this beautiful horseshoe driveway. And kind of look around here so I can show off this area a little bit better. Try to block the mic, it's a little breezy right now. But you do have some beautiful oak, oak trees in this house. This is on 3.62 acres. So uh, space is not lacking in this neighbor in this house, but just up uh, just in front of me, you can kind of see a little playground area. That's also where the pool is at. You've got tennis courts right there. Looks like a little clubhouse type thing, but soccer fields, and then you have the a little baseball slash softball field. And you can tell there's some people walking through this a neighborhood walking trail. Just a big, beautiful park area. And that's your next door neighbor. It looks like the spike there is kind of showing the edge of the property line that direction. But uh, yeah, let's head on inside this beautiful home and check it out. Now, this just came on the market today. They are asking 850 k for this house. It is 3,313 square feet, four bedroom, three full bath, one half bath. All right, let's head on inside. All right, this does have some beautiful doors, the double doors. It took me a second to find the key hole, but it's behind a little slot there. All right, right when you come in, see some nice features, a little light right above us. You do have an office area. Not the biggest or fanciest office, but uh, plenty nice for they're using it as a sitting room. I'd make it my little office because it does have the French doors on it. But you come right into the main living area. Get a little panoramic shot of that. Some built-ins for the TV. Lots of windows on the back side. And you got the kitchen. Beautiful long tray ceiling. A beautiful pool. We're gonna go check out the pool in a second. Just wanted to close that on the way. Oh, the staircase. The staircase is really beautiful. Check that bad boy out. All right, on to the kitchen. You have a fairly high microwave right there, but functional. Well, not too high. I guess that's about the same height as mine. Maybe a few inches taller. Good size pantry. It does have the double islands, which I kind of like. One for entertaining, one for cooking and cleaning. Or washing dishes and stuff. It does have a gas grill with a little griddle in it. Thermidor, good brand. Also the double ovens from Bosch. Let's kind of take a look inside here. Very clean. We do have the granite composite sink and not a 50-50 sink. This one is much wider. You can put a skillet in it.
All right, let's go check out some of these secondary bedrooms. No formal, formal dining room, but this is a pretty good sized one. So you don't have the breakfast nook slash formal dining room. This uh, serves both purposes very well. Now I had to make sure that this isn't being counted as a bedroom and it's not. They just have it set up like that. This could be your bar, sitting room, reading room, whatever you want to do with it. But back here, comes a perfect guest bedroom spot with access, with their own private uh, toilet and access to the back porch. Wait, let me take that back. That was a powder room for the general public. Sometimes I'm not perfect, guys. This is your powder room for everybody else with access to the bathroom shower. And I say that because this guest bedroom does have its own full bath. I was thinking to myself, like, man, this is kind of sad it's not a full bath. But here it is, the guest bathroom bedroom with a full bath and a very nice shower. So if you got those long-term guests or those teenagers who refuse to leave your house, or 20-year-old or 30-year-old, this is where I'd put them up at. All right. Oh, let's go check out this back room here. This goes the garage, just a standard two car garage, but this is your utility room. You can tell they had a uh, the need for multiple washers and dryers. A beautiful sink. If you notice the floor, they did do the concrete stained floor. So very low maintenance right there. All right, let's go check out the outside. All right, I've got access where I can look at the history of this house and the previous the people selling it now are the ones who put this pool in because when they bought it, it didn't have a pool. A beautiful covered patio area, eight foot doors leading to the owner suite, view the dining room, and then the guest bedroom. Now the sun does set on the back side of the pool. West is kind of right off this direction. But you do have this beautiful oak tree giving you plenty of shade. And yes, that pond right back there is part of the property too. I'm obviously not going to walk the whole three acres of the property. It's a really nice pool, beautiful sitting area, a little propane fire pit. Like I said, nobody behind you. You do have your neighbors. Let's see if we can see his house there. Yeah, okay, there's the neighbor on that side. But plenty of distance in between, so you're not gonna be interfered with them. And just a view out the back side and going off to like the neighborhood park and there's the softball fields it's really cool area definitely gives you that feel of living on 20 plus acres when it's really only three water drainage area here. Kind of good idea. Just so the water doesn't pull up. Alright, before we go check out the owners, we don't want to go upstairs.
All right, we do have two additional bedrooms upstairs. Good sized rooms. A view from outside their room. Little Jack and Jill bathroom where people will share the sink and go up to the shared space in the bathroom. And then come out and the person living out of this room has their own sink still too. And another good size bedroom. Let's check out the size of these closets. Oops. Oh, good size closets. Downstairs, and let's check out that owner suite. This is a 15 by 15 room. With your views out to your deck area. And what we just showed you a second ago, the door to it as well. We do have French doors leading in. Nice little light fixture. With a big old soaking tub. His and her vanities. I don't care why that light's not on. I'm not going to worry about it. There's the other vanity. With more light bulbs out. But big, beautiful, double headed shower. And the water closet. Speaking of closet, let's go check this one out. Let's see, I'm trying to show anything personal. But yes, this is a big wraparound closet. Lots of cubbies. And it just keeps going. Show the ton of work that they put into this. All right, that's gonna wrap a tour of this beautiful home in River Chase and on a 3.6 acre lot, huge lot, beautiful home. If you want more information on this house, feel free to reach out to me. I'm not gonna make this video completely public until my client decides whether or not they want it or not. So I'm gonna put this together in a few minutes and I'll send it to them as a private link. And if you're looking for a real estate agent that does tours like this that helps out-of-state clients, be sure to send me a text and I'll send you a link to schedule time with me. All right, as always, like, make sure you like, subscribe, and share with your friends. All right, take care now. Bye.